Hi everyone, I'm Mara. I'm one of the faces behind the Instagram page Babtikh uh, Chibne. For those of you who do not know, I share this page with my mom. It's essentially a food blog where we uh, share Palestinian and Middle Eastern recipes with the world. Um, we've had the page for a couple of years now, I believe, and the main aim of the page has always been to share Palestine with the world, to share the culture, the heritage, the food, but also the struggle. Um, so this is why it means the world to us uh, to be here today amongst all of you. Uh, so we would like to thank Leila for having us. We would like to thank the entire UNARWA team for putting something so special together during the month of Ramadan. Um, it's a cause that is very close to our hearts and um, it feels very special to be in the position to spread awareness and to raise money for Palestinian refugees. And so in honor of today's Ramadan virtual kitchen uh, for Palestinian refugees, we have decided to share an authentic Palestinian dessert recipe, knafa uh, nabil or knafa name. It is an authentic, delicious recipe that you guys will love. It's very simple to make and it's perfect for the month of Ramadan. So we hope you guys tune in and enjoy. All right, everyone. So let's get started on the fedeke knafa. We're going to need a few simple ingredients that we're going to combine in a large bowl to form a dough. So we will start with three and a half cups of flour, half a cup of semolina, you can use fine or coarse, half a cup of cornstarch, and half a cup of powdered milk, along with one teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to mix these together, and then we will add half a cup of slightly melted ghee. We're using vegetable ghee, and we're going to rub it into the rest of the ingredients. So once it's all rubbed in, we're going to add one and a half cups of room temperature water and we're going to knead until we make a dough or until a dough forms. Feel free to add a little bit of extra water gradually if your dough does not come together because the amount of water depends on the type of flour. Your dough should look like this. Then we will place our dough in between two sheets of parchment paper and we will roll it out to a one centimeter thickness. And once it's rolled out, we're going to transfer it to a baking sheet and we will preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit while the dough rests for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of resting, we're going to lower the temperature of the oven to the lowest possible temperature and we'll bake the dough for exactly 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to leave the dough to air dry for 5 plus hours. You can leave it overnight and it should look something like this. And then we're going to do part by part. We're going to place it in the food processor and grind it to a fine consistency. And there you have it. Our knafa dough is ready and we are ready to assemble our knafa na'me or knafa nabilsi. We're going to start with around one and a half tablespoons of ghee that we're going to spread all over the bottom of the pan that we will make our knafa in. You want to make sure the ghee goes everywhere, even on the sides. To around one and a half cups of our fedeke knafa that we just made, we're going to add two tablespoons of cold simple syrup and rub it in. Then we're going to spread the fedeke knafa into the pan and you'll notice here my mom presses gently every time she adds more and this is to ensure that there are no empty spots so you want to press gently. Once we have a nice even layer we're going to take a pan of the same size and we're going to press into the layer and that will make sure that really everything is even. And now comes the best part. Um, so for the cheese, we're using desalted akkawi. You can use nabilsiye, you can use mshallale, um, whatever's available where you are. So you want a nice generous layer and you want to pat it down at the end and add one last sprinkle of our fadiki knafa. To cook it, we're going to place it over the stovetop and as soon as you hear a slight sizzling sound, you want to begin rotating it and you will rotate the entire time that it is cooking. If the cheese releases any water, you want to take a paper towel and just pat it down slightly to soak up any excess water that comes out. After a few minutes of turning, I would say around 8 to 10 minutes, could be less, could be more, your knafa will turn a nice golden amber color around the edges and that's when it's ready to flip. You want to flip it in a slightly larger pan and then right away you want to ladle the very hot simple syrup over the top. Thank you. 
And of course, like with all Arab desserts, you want to go in with a generous layer of ground pistachios all over the top and it's ready to enjoy. So we hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Um, please do send us your remakes on Instagram if you guys decide to make the knafa. And we would like to close off by saying thank you again for having us um, and reminding everyone to please donate towards the cause. Um, we are infinitely blessed to be able to make spreads of delicious dishes all throughout the month of Ramadan, while others, families in Gaza, families in Palestine, they rely on the aid that they receive from UNRWA. Um, to feed their children the basic necessities. So please donate. Do not forget the plight of Palestine's refugees during this blessed month. And Ramadan Mubarak.